Welcome my friend. This month's yoga calendar is all about the beautiful, strong, fluid body of yours that is capable of so much. We'll be honoring, celebrating, stretching, and loving the major areas of your body. Each week I'll release two practices honoring different areas of your body, one on the YouTube channel and the second on our Awaken member site. So this week, we are loving on your hamstrings and psoas. This practice is dedicated to your hamstrings. Hop over to the Awakened member site to give your psoas some love. You'll need two yoga blocks and a yoga strap or a belt for our practice today. We will be taking one yin pose at the closing, so make sure to have any additional props nearby to support your body in the yin pose. I'll join you seated on the mat. We'll join together in a comfortable cross-leg seated position. Sit up nice and tall. Rest your hands wherever is comfortable and gently close your eyes. Let's take a few deep breaths in and out your nose. Feeling yourself let go of thoughts of the day with each breath you take. Fully arriving here on the mat. Your hamstrings are a set of three muscles at the back of your thighs, crossing from your hips to your knee joints. Begin to draw your attention to this area, to this space of your hamstrings. Your hamstring muscles are responsible for some wonderful movement of your hips and your knees, walking, squatting, bending your knees, tilting your pelvis. Let's thank those hamstrings today. Bat those beautiful eyes open and extend your right leg out long. Opposite sole foot will be to your inner thigh. Grab that yoga strap or belt and wrap it around the ball of your foot. Square your hips up over the extended leg. Breathe in, lengthen up and exhale, use the straps to hinge forward at your hip crease, leading with your heart. Five deeply soothing breaths here, breathing into the pose, noticing where you feel the sensation. Good. Now let's slowly begin to lift and lean back and as you do this, lift your extended leg coming into somewhat of a balancing pose, making sure your foot continues to flex, long spine, lead forward with your heart, hips are square, shoulders are square, and see if you can lift your leg up a little higher and reach forward a little bit more with your heart, noticing how that affects the sensations you're experiencing. Do you notice it in your hamstrings or other areas of your body? With control, slowly lower your leg to the earth. Release the strap and take it over to the left leg. Leg is extended, square your hips over the extended leg. Once you have the strap around the ball of your foot, breathe in reaching up through the crown of your head. And upon your exhale, use the straps to hinge forward. Noticing how your pelvis tilts forward appreciating your hamstring muscles for this motion in your body. Five smooth, even breaths. Let's begin to lean your torso back as you lift your extended leg, noticing what muscles engage as you transition into the balancing pose. You may feel your core strength engage as you focus on keeping a nice long spine and leading with your heart. 
Now, as we target certain areas of our body, like our hamstrings, you will find that in doing so, other areas are also getting some love and attention too. So majority of these practices end up being close to a full body flow, which is the beauty of a yoga practice. Let's slowly lower and extend both legs out long. Yoga strap wraps around both balls of your feet. Inhalation, find that beautiful long spine of yours. And once more on the exhale, using the yoga strap to assist you to hinge forward at your hip crease. No worries if you do not hinge forward too far. Just maintain that beautiful alignment to help tend to your body at your level. You'll notice that I don't hinge forward too far myself either. Just close your eyes, enjoy the stretch, enjoy your breath. All right, my friends, soften and set your strap off to the side. Bring your soles of feet to kiss for a moment in butterfly pose. Again, long spine as you hinge forward. Maybe inviting in a little movement if it's calling to your body. Your body knows exactly what it needs. Tap in, listen and honor. Feel that amazing connection to your body's intuition. Soften and make your way to hands and knees for tabletop pose. Line your wrists under your shoulders and knees under your hip points. Let's take another moment here, tuning into your body and letting it guide you as you flow through some feel good cat cows. Sinking your breath with the movement. Come to a neutral spine. Grab your yoga blocks and place them directly underneath your hands with your wrists under your shoulders. Tuck your toes and lift your hips to down dog. Now to begin, take a slight bend in your knees, drawing your attention to the space of your hamstrings and just notice what is going on with your knees slightly bent and down dog in your hamstring area. Lengthen tailbone to the sky, chest yearning towards your thighs. Go ahead and press down through your knuckles and your fingertips. Spin the eye of your elbows forward, arms engaged. Good. Now let's straighten your right leg and bend your left knee, focusing your attention on the hamstrings of your right leg. Check in with your hips, ensure that they are square, no dipping in that left hip. Then sink your heel towards the mat. Tailbone lengthens, sternum reaches. With attention to your hamstrings, slowly sway your hips to one side and then over to the other, just noticing how the stretch travels, the sensations you experience, taking it side to side. And we'll switch sides. So bend your right knee, left leg straightens. Check back in with your hips. Ensure they are square front, back and side to side. Shoulders square. Sink your right heel towards the earth. Tailbone lengthens, sternum reaches. With attention to your left hamstring, take that slow sway of your hip side to side, noticing how the stretch travels, the sensations you experience in the space of your left hamstring, along the back side of your legs. Now sink both heels to the mat. We'll step your left foot forward for runner's lunge. Front knee in line with your ankle, not going past. Square your hips up. Fingertips to your block as you reach your heart forward. Shoulder head straw back. Back heel presses back. And now begin to press through your front sole of foot to straighten that front leg. Allow your spine to round forward. Draw your right hip forward, left hip back. Feel that subtle movement, that subtle squaring up. 
Press down to the mound of your big toe. Neck is relaxed, five breaths. Good. Now from here, on your next in-breath, lift and find your flat back, lengthening your spine. Exhale, hinge, maintaining your flat back, heart lifting, five nourishing breaths here. Adjust your props as your body guides you. Now let's add in one more thing. Lift your toes off the mat, reaching them back towards your body. And as you do this, maintain your long spine. This can be pretty intense. So if your body tells you it's too much, honor and return your soul a foot to the mat. Breathe here, my friend. Now if it isn't already, return your soul a foot to the mat. Bend into your front knee and lower your back heel to the mat so it's parallel with the short edge. Bring your right hand to your hip and spiral your heart center towards the sky, guiding your shoulder blades sliding down your back. Stay broad and open across your chest. Lift your gaze towards the sky. And now that you have this nice opening, go and extend your right fingertips up to the sky. And then we'll slowly press into your front sole foot to extend your front leg coming into triangle pose. Five beautiful breaths here, sending your in-breath into the space of your body where you're feeling the most sensation. Silly bend into your front knee, top arm fans down to the yoga block, pivot on the back foot. If you increase the height of your blocks, go ahead and return them to the lowest setting. And we'll step front foot back for plank pose. Exhale, lower halfway chaturanga. Big, beautiful breath and upward facing dog. I love taking upward facing dog with yoga blocks. Feel so much space in your body. And lift your hips to downward facing dog. We'll take that sequence to the second side. So step your right foot near your right thumb, runner's lunge. Front knee in line with your ankle, not going past. Hip square, fingertips to the mat, and we're reaching forward with your heart. Shoulder heads draw back, space between shoulder and ears. Heel presses back, back leg engaged. Now begin to press into your front sole foot, just straighten your front leg and allow your spine to round forward over your front leg. Draw your left hip forward, right hip back, slight movement there. Press down to the mound of your big front toe, neck is soft, five breaths. next in breath lift and find your flat back lengthening your spine and on your exhale hinge hinge at your hips maintaining your flat back heart lifting five nourishing breaths adjust your props if needed For our last one, left, let's lift those front toes off the mat, reaching back towards your body. Keep that long spine. Again, this can be pretty intense, so honor what your body needs here. If it is already, return your solo foot to the mat. Bend into your front knee and lower your back heel to the mat so back foot runs parallel with the short edge. Bring your left hand to your hip this time and spiral that heart center up towards the sky. Gaze lifts. Stay broad across your chest. 
And then when you're ready, extend your left fingertips up to the sky. Slowly press into your front sole foot to extend your front leg, finding your triangle pose. Five beautiful breaths. Slowly bend into your front knee, top arm fans down to the yoga block, pivot on the back foot. This time, back foot steps to meet the front forward fold. Slight bend in your knees. Feel your upper body release and let go. Breathe and lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, melt chest to thighs. Big beautiful breath and circling fingertips up to the sky. Palms kiss and lower prayer to heart. Eyes close. Breathe in, feel into your body. Exhalation, let go. Inhalation, circle fingertips up to the sky. Palms kiss, reach back before you dive it down through center. Hands to your yoga blocks and step back for plank pose. You may lift to down dog or take your flow. Either way, I'll meet you in downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward, lower your back heel to the mat and fan yourself up. Open your front toes to the side of the mat, preparing for a wide leg forward fold. So make sure your feet are about a leg's distance apart. Point your toes in and your heels out, hands to your hips, breathe in, lengthen up. Exhalation, hinge forward at your hip crease, releasing forward. Fingertips release to the mat, crown ahead lowers towards the mat. Just release and soften that upper body. Head is heavy. Feel grounded through the soles of your feet. Breathe in, left halfway. Crown ahead reaches forward. Now on your exhale, bend into your knees and melt forward. Fluid movement. Breathe in, lift halfway, straightening your legs. Exhalation, bend into your knees and fold forward. Take this two or three more times on your own, finding your own fluid rhythm, attention on your hamstrings, noticing how it feels in this area as you flow. Your breath flows with the movement. The next time you release forward, maintain straight legs. Then we'll breathe and lift halfway, and this time interlace your fingers behind your low back, extend your arms long, then reach them up and overhead as you fold forward. So we are not only getting into the back side of our legs, but also tending to our shoulders and upper body. Five breaths. On your next inhale, lift halfway, soften, release your fingertips to the mat and fold forward. You can stay right here with crown of head lowering towards the mat or option to walk your hands back in space, folding even more. As you do this, ensure you're grounded through all four corners of your feet to help with stability and grounding. Good. Let's walk your palms back forward and then towards the front of the mat. Front toes open to the front of the back. Pivot on your back foot. Set your yoga blocks back up. 
Return your palms to the blocks and, and find down dog or take your flow. Either way, I'll meet you in down dog. And let's find that beautiful feel good alignment in downward facing dog. Press down through your knuckles and your fingertips. Eyes of your elbows spin forward, arms engaged. Lengthen your tailbone to the sky, chest yearning towards your thigh. Heels sink to the mat. From here, take one step forward of both your feet that is about a distance of your foot. So your heel will now be in line with where your front toes were. And then walk yourself through, walk your body through alignment again. And if you do not feel sensation in your hamstrings, then you may choose to set the yoga blocks off to the side and just bring your palms to the mat. Now let's take another step forward that is about a foot distance. Finding your alignment again. Good, now take one more step forward. You may be in or very close to forward fold now. And if you're not, go ahead and set your blocks off to the side and release into forward fold. For our next one, we're going to take your two piece fingers around your big toes. Now take a generous bend in your knees, torso kisses your thighs, and on your inhale, lift to a flat back as you straighten your legs. Good. Let's do that again. Exhale, bend into your knees, torso kisses your thighs. Inhalation, slowly lift to flat back, straightening your legs. Beautiful. Again, exhale, bend and fold forward. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Hold it at the top here and reach your elbows wide side to side as you draw your chest towards your thighs. Hold and breathe. Feel the sensations in your hamstrings. Soften and release fingertips to the mat. Go ahead and take a generous bend in your knees, giving your hamstrings a break for a moment. Soften. All right, for our next one, we'll slide your palms underneath your feet one at a time for gorilla pose. It can be kind of tricky, so take your time. Once you have it, on your inhale, take that same action as we were doing before, of lifting and lengthening your upper body, straightening your legs. Hold it here and breathe. You'll probably find that you cannot lift and lengthen or straighten your legs as much as you were before. Now we are both stretching and strengthening your hamstrings in this one. You got this. Breathe into the tightness, the tension, the strength you're feeling. my friend. Let's bend into your knees to carefully remove your palms from under your feet one at a time. Then we'll breathe and lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Big, beautiful, nourishing breath and circling your fingertips up to the sky. Palms kiss and lower prayer to heart. Breathe in, feeling into your body. Exhalation, release and let go. Breathe in, circle fingertips up to the sky. Palms kiss, reach back before you dive it down through the center. Hands frame your foot, we'll step back for plank pose. This time, we're going to hold plank pose for 10 breaths. Now we'll be doing this in each of these practices this month as I want you to check in and see what each area of your body does for you in holding this powerful pose. In your last few breaths, check in with how your hamstrings support you in this plank pose. Good work, lower halfway chaturanga. Inhalation, upward facing dog, heart shines. Release your legs to the mat and sit hips back to heels for just a brief moment in child's pose. 
will roll up and make your way to seated. Moving into our final pose, our yin straddle pose. Extend both your legs out long as wide as you comfortably can. Your kneecaps will point up, toes point up. Option one, if you find your struggle to sit up right, you find your low back is rounding, go ahead and bring your fingertips behind you to support you. Option two, sitting up tall. Option three, hinge forward at your hips, tilting your pelvis forward. Find your first edge, that first moment you feel that stretching sensation within your body and hold it there. We're gonna be here for about four minutes. So I'm not going to your deepest edge to start. It's very important so you can hold this pose in complete stillness without fidgeting or having to move around so we can work into that deep connective tissue in your hamstring area. Explore using props to help fill the gap between you and the earth. Allow your body, your muscles to completely relax and let go. No muscular holdings. You may find it helpful to scan your body throughout the hold to keep everything relaxed and stay present in your body. With each exhalation you take, invite your body to soften and melt deeper into the pose. You may even take time while holding this pose to reflect and appreciate all that your hamstrings do for you day in and day out without you asking them to. My friend, let's slowly bring your palms to the mat, tuck your chin to your chest to lovingly rise up. Set your props off to the side and use your hands to assist in bringing one leg in and then the other.
slowly make your way to lying on your back, coming into Shavasana, our final resting pose. Arms at your side, feet as wide as the mat, feet splaying open. Breathe into your body. Feel that nourishing air into your nose, travel throughout your body. And on the exhalation, allow everything to soften and relax. Feeling the weight of your body fully supported by the earth beneath you. Let's take 10 breaths here in Shavasana, allowing the nutrients of our hamstring practice to settle in and integrate. Bring one sole foot to the mat and then the other. Roll over to your right side. Full deep breath in through your nose. Long, slow, complete exhalation out your nose. And with your eyes closed and attention remaining inward, make your way to a comfortable cross leg seated position. Sit up nice and tall, eyes closed, hands relaxed wherever is comfortable. Take a moment now to feel into your body. Feel into the effects of our practice. Feel into your hamstrings. Big, beautiful breath in, circling fingertips up to the sky, gathering love and light. Palms kiss and bring all that love and light down to heart center. Thank your hamstrings for all that they do for you each and every day keeping you upright and giving you the power to move forward. Bow forward, thanking yourself for taking this time to honor, celebrate, stretch, and love your beautiful, strong, fluid body. Thank you so much for spending your time with me on the mat. Throw the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and don't forget to get your free copy of our Yoga Love Calendar this month, and consider checking out the Awakened member site for the additional yoga practices each week. Sending love and light to you and all beings. Namaste.